Yo, yo, beautiful people, this is Nadir. It's Kev. And yo, we are Games Music Life. So we're back today to review for this Fonte project yeah. titled No News is Good News. Yeah, man. Boom Bat Rap is back. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. This was refreshing to me. I, I needed this out. I needed something like this to come out. Um, I'm a. I like Fonte. I've always liked him. I always thought that he was unappreciated by a lot of people. He's kind of undergroundish to some people. I think he kind of loves that underground card at this point because yeah. people underrate him, man. Um, this album is just bars, man. Just bars, soul. Um, grown man rap. He talked about a lot of things. That I like the track we talked about jeans. I can't fit into these jeans. And he talked about it wasn't really jeans. It was actually the fact of you know black men not taking care of them, their health and kind of just just being more venue with that. Um, I was like, whoa! It just opened my eyes up. The yeah. album was a perfect length. I think it was just just enough music. He came in, got out. Uh, I think if if Fonte was light skinned and, and and from Toronto, we would give him more props. Like I think wow. it was that's because he can sing better. Than, he can actually sing. Yeah, like he can. It's not like harmonizing. It's not like melodies. He can actually sing. You know, and I've heard him live. He I actually, wish he did a little bit more of that on this album. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. I would too. Yeah. I would too. I remember on the old um, some village albums, he would, um, he would, he, I mean, uh, he little would, brother, little brother. I'm sorry, little brother. He would sing, and like you would thought it was like a background singer, and you finally know like that's Fonte singing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so look, I, I, I can gush over it. I love the album. I thought it was very good. Uh, uh, just the content of what he rapped about, just health and just wealth, and just even talking about his own personal issues, dealing with his mom and how she can talk a good game, and she's out here smoking cigarettes, and he was like, <laughs> he was just, it just talked about a lot of things I love, man. Black and good show. Better. What do you think, bro? Man, uh, with it, listen, if you you was a fan of little brother Fonte, man, that mm-hmm. that's what you were getting on this go round. Um, do you know if Ninth did any of the production on here? It sounds like it. It, it kind it, it, does, it does sound, sound like, like it, it yes. but I wasn't completely sure just because mm-hmm. uh, Ninth Wonders sound has evolved, but this really sounded like a throwback. Yeah. To the old little brother stuff. I mm-hmm. do wish Fonte would have uh, maybe explored his singing voice a little bit more. Like I, that's what I really loved about the Foreign Exchange albums, or you know those projects or whatever. Is that you know what I'm saying when he decides that he wants to croon a little bit, man, he can really put it on. I wish he would have lathered this up, but. On this one, man, he, he just came out bars. Yeah, he, he decided bars. he was giving out bars yeah. and uh, he was giving that grown man rap. I yep. ain't mad at that. Yep. The flow, I'm not gonna lie, he he, he slipped back into the little brother pocket. He and did. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's, what's it been about uh, 12, 14 years? Yeah, because so, be, the intro, I thought it was throwback. Rakim. Yeah, <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was Rakim rapping. Yeah, yeah, but which I mean, it, it was nice to hear, but I maybe would have uh, maybe would've done a little bit of switch up or, or hey man, bring the other bring Big Pooh and Knife right back on board. Yeah, like, like, give give us one, give us one, make Cause, make cause it right. It, was it Big Pooh and Knife that didn't get along? Like what was it? Why, why did they I, break I forget, up? I forget. It was something who wasn't that. getting along. I know yeah. somebody wasn't getting along with Knife that they weren't seeing eye to eye. And, yeah. you know what I'm saying the whole thing broke up. But I mean, the Mitchell show is a classic. If you yeah. haven't checked that Absolutely. out before, man, definitely check that out. Absolutely. Uh, and Fonte, man, he can just rap. Man, he was giving us bars on top of bars. Man, really jazzy production on there man mm-hmm. um and the content the subject matter was there yeah man 30 minutes album was right on pace yeah, for where yeah. it needed to be man yeah. uh I, I i just wish that maybe it had a little bit more spice a little bit more flavor maybe explored a little bit more it, uh-huh. it felt like this was a very focused or very aimed project and not that's not a bad thing right but i just know how talented fonte is yeah. and i wish that he maybe would have explored his sound a little bit more rather than just giving us so much just pinpoint focus rap even though the raps were all real like that cry yeah. no more track on here man Ooh. phenomenal Yeesh. phenomenal talking about you know what i'm saying the the mistakes that his parents made and yeah. you know what i'm saying how that's affected him and trying to pass down better knowledge you know what i'm saying down to the youth yeah. i thought that, that was amazing something that really needed to be spoke about on. combat jack yeah talk about yeah. combat jack man salute to combat jack yeah. rest in peace and all Absolutely. that um so yeah man it, it, it was grown man music that, i wouldn't be surprised if, sure. if combat jack's death inspired this album I can see that. You know that. what I mean? Like I wouldn't, because he's... A lot of it is about getting better. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? Getting like, older, getting yes, wiser. getting wiser about yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually was motivated by just that and wrote this album in like a weekend. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And that shows you how a talented dude is. Yeah. That he could absolutely. do that. I give you 89. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, see, I, I wasn't quite as high on it, mm-hmm. man, just because, like I said, man, I wish he would have yeah. maybe switched up a little <laughs> bit, man. I just, I, like, I know how talented he is, and I yeah. didn't feel like this album put it on full display, mm-hmm. but with it, it was still a really good album, man. I rated it out 83. Okay. Hey, it's not in a ballpark. Six, yeah, six six points less. You know what I'm saying? But yo, let us know what you guys think, man. Fonte fans, get in here. And if you give it a hundred, I absolutely understand why. you Oh, they're did. they're gonna kill me. Oh, they're, they're gonna, gonna kill, kill me. You're gonna, gonna get. You're gonna get the I, I'm very sorry because I thought yeah. it was a great album. But I, and listen, <laughs> we're we're reviewing albums. I have to give a real no, commentary. No, keep that same energy. Keep it it is what it is. <laughs> like, listen, you can bring it in the comments. Yeah. I, you know, I love it. Yeah, we you know all. Yeah, we, we love you just the same. I, I'm glad you enjoyed. We answer them all, man. So we definitely get back to. I let him answer the ones that's bad, though. Yeah, but yo, I am Nate Spicy. This can. We are Games Music Life, man. Drink more water, people. Peace. Peace.